welcome to another week in my life vlog. I'm home clearly. I thought I was gonna make cottage cheese rice cakes for breakfast, but I think I'm gonna do some eggs and ground turkey. I worked out this morning, took a go to her appointment. Now I'm back home. I need to drop my car off to get service, so I'm putting it off for so long, but I decided that I'm gonna be a responsible adult today. So whatever you guys are putting off in your adult responsibilities, this is your sign to do them. I don't wanna do it literally at all. Like, I don't know, at all. I went to the farmer's market this weekend, and I have some eggs from the farmer's market, and then I also have brown turkey. And I've been kind of into this, with really into this, with my chow chow, as you guys know. So I'm gonna make this um, and get going with my day. It's gonna be a nice little work from home day. Um, and this week's gonna be good. We're going to Drake. I'm going to a cowgirl luncheon tomorrow. It's gonna be good. I'm back home from Firestone. I was there for so long just to drop off my car. I'm gonna make one more glass of coffee, okay? I did say it's really not helping my anxiety, but I have a small cup, so it's okay. Cause I need to get work done and I need to focus and I just don't feel focused. These little spoons are so cute. The glasses are Urban Outfitters. These are from like Lapel Club. I think that's how you pronounce it. But we're heading off to the office to get some work done. I need a tripod for my desk just to have my camera up. So I am rebranding the podcast. And by rebranding, we're literally just changing the name and the cover art. The show itself is gonna stay the same. I have so many things that I wanna do. I think just because I'm entering fall and I'm happy again, I am really excited about the episodes that are coming up. Um, but yeah, nothing's really changing. It's just like the name. So the new name is House Guest. And there's a new podcast cover coming out too. So it's the 28th that we're changing everything. So please still listen and don't just let it, you like just don't forget about it, you know? I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm doing my solo fall episode. Oh, fall episode. And then I'm right now recording intros for my book episode with Margot and Emily. And we're also doing, um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm recording the new trailer for House Guests which I'm so excited for. Hi y'all, this is House Guest, and I am your host, Kenzie Elizabeth. Think a Gen Z wannabe Martha Stewart meets Dolly Parton trying to live in a Nancy Myers movie in her 20s. We talk all about life, relationships, navigating your 20s, closing out the bars, or waking up at 5 a.m., depending on our vibe that week. So let's get into the show. Okay, that was only like my second try. I feel like that wasn't that bad, but I'm gonna keep doing it, okay? Hi y'all, this is House Guest, and I am your host, Kenzie Elizabeth. So, let's get into the show. Not bad! It's snack time. I haven't had cottage cheese in a second, and as you guys know, that was my hyperfixation really recently. What? Rice cakes. Oh, but this time, so I got jam from the farmer's market this week. Where did I even put that? My pantry is so unorganized, guys. And like, that's the last thing in my life that I want to organize. So it's going to stay that way for a while. Okay, natural strawberry jam. Like, doesn't that look amazing? Browns like doesn't have good culture cottage cheese, but they have good culture. So I'm confused. Okay, there's just like too much shit in here. I also like this cottage cheese, but just good culture is my favorite. I've been getting a lot of work done. I'm about to go into a bit of an editing hole. And then tonight I'm going to try out a new restaurant with Macy. I'm actually working with DoorDash guys, which is like so cool because I mean, I'm sure you guys see it. I honestly like try, I order for DoorDash right every single day. Even if it isn't like food, I order everything from them. Like I order stuff when I'm hosting, I order stuff when I'm um, like just don't wanna run errands. Like I, I do everything on DoorDash. So it's so sick that I'm working with them and it's like a big long-term partnership. So I need to film um, an Instagram reel for them so we have to go to a new restaurant tonight. Um, and I'm just, so excited, and I've also been wanting to try this restaurant 
for a bit anyways. Um, another thing that I'm working on is like wearing cute clothes. I say as I'm wearing literally a workout set. But like, hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna change for tonight, but I'm trying because, you know, the times are getting better and we're entering into fall. I'm trying to start wearing stuff that I actually like, and just like outfits that I like, just so I'm like, you know, happy and not wasting all my money on these clothes. So I'm gonna force myself to start getting ready. Even if like, it's just making what I work out in cuter. Like if I just go the extra step to like add something to make the look cuter. Cause it makes me feel more put together. It makes me feel better about myself. It just makes me feel better in like every area of my life. So that's a goal of mine. And I need you guys to really hold me to that because it's been a little rough, it really has. It's a lot, but it's so good. Cottage cheese is so good for you. Just trust me if you think you hate it. Also great source of protein, but they just taste amazing. It's time to figure out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So ideally, it's actually kind of raining here. Ideally, I would wear this full denim set that I have from Macy's on 34th, which is like one of my favorite places to get clothes right now. Um, but I don't think that's possible. Like, it's not that cold, you know? Part of me is like, what if I wear this with like a skirt and boots? But then, I don't know about that either. I really don't. Also, I spent so much money on this romper because I thought it was so cute just to literally not wear it this summer. Like, what am I doing? Um, so it's like the National Cowgirl Association, something like that. I've really gotta figure this out. I guess I could just play it safe with a dress. Um, I'm like not gonna have that much time to get ready in the morning. Okay, so not much luck on my outfit for tomorrow. But I did have luck on my outfit for tonight. So Macy and I are going to get dinner. We are trying a new restaurant in Dallas on Greenville. Like there's so many new places on Greenville right now. Um, this belt, I'm like so into belts. I feel like we've talked about that already, but it's from Revolve and it's so cute. It's definitely a splurge. My brown one is like way cheaper. Um, I tied this like too tight. It needs to not. I don't know, it sucks because this is like not really supposed to be tucked in, so I feel like it looks weird. But I was gonna throw a blazer on, but now I like, don't know about this. I don't even know where my clock blazer is. Let's see? No. Like too warm. Ah, it's just like one of those days. Okay. Okay, here's a black leather one. Just like not the vibe I'm going for right now. We'll see. I just wanted the top to kind of like blend in. It's kind of like whatever, you know? I'm at least gonna try this. I need to like have a styling session in my closet and just go through a bunch of stuff and style it. Like, I don't know. I just don't love the material of this blazer. It's giving fall, but like, I don't know. It's like not the vibe I'm going for. You know, we'll be back, I'll be back. Okay, I figured it out, Skim saved the day. Surprise, surprise, this is my look. My boots are Lucchese. If you have wide casts, these are great. I need to try the new ones from Tacova's because Tacova's is like my brand, or my boots, my favorite boots, but I also love Lucchese. These are my only pair from them though. And I recommend Tacova's because they're at a lower price point and then like a lot of my favorites just happen to be Tacova's, but I do really like these, they're the, I think the Priscilla, they start with a P. I'll link them below. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna wear the jacket like, on the side. Yeah, okay, this is fine. It's like so basic, but like, it's fine. It'll do, I need to like freshen up. Good morning, y'all. Going to the 7.30 class.
class, Macy is in the spot directly in front of me, so we basically just stare at each other the whole time. Dinner last night was great. I meant to vlog, but I left my camera. We went to, I think it's like Fortune House on Greenville, and it's so good. I didn't realize how popping it was in there. Like, you need a reservation, apparently. Like, Greenville, you don't really need reservations, so I was not prepared for that, but we just sat at the bar, and it was amazing. So, today I'm going to Fort Worth. Thank God. Love that place. Tonight, I have to film a separate night routine. Okay, after all that drama about what I was going to wear, I'm wearing the two most worn items in my wardrobe, which is this Reformation dress. It is the best dress ever. It's pricey, I will say. I was influenced by Brooke. But it's the most flattering dress. I wore it to Eras one night. I wore it to the Dear Media Summit. It's just so good. I want every color in it. I know they have black, they have white. It's really good for brides. Honestly, I think my cousin's getting it for she's engaged, so whatever. These earrings are really giving Fort Worth, like I'm really giving cowgirl here something about it. Um, this top is Macy's on 34th line that I love. I have matching jeans, but it's just not cold enough yet. And then my Annie's that I wear so often. Hopefully this is dressy enough, but like even if it isn't, I'll just take this off and not think it was a jacket. Be like, oh my God, no, I was just wearing this dress. What are you guys talking about, you know? Um, and then this Louis bag, which I will say I got this for like a couple hundred on the real real um, when I was in college, maybe like 500. Still pricey, like don't get me wrong, but for like a Louis Vuitton bag, um, I got it discounted. I think it was 500 and then it was like on sale on the real real or something like that. I don't know, I got like a really good deal on it. And I have worn it so much, it's one of my favorite bags. It fits my big vlog camera, which is really nice, but also it's just perfect. Like every time fall rolls around, I'm grabbing for this bag and it's just, cute and perfect and I don't know actually the name or the size of this bag so if anyone wants to comment below but if you're looking to invest in a designer bag I highly highly recommend this one I need to change my bags out because I keep keep doing that I really need to do a trip to Sephora desperately like I need brow gel and I've needed brow gel for a long time for a very very long time I need just like a lot of things like I've got to gotta get this under control. I just like wish that I was good at makeup and I know a lot of it is because I put so many oils on my skin. Like it's my skin prep. Like I just do my normal skincare but like it's not good for skin prep and I just have to figure it out, you know? But I'm tired of not being good at makeup. Like I feel like even when I put stuff on it's just like not even going on my skin, you know? I got the new, um, well they're new to me, the Makeup by Mario Morphe brushes and I was like trying to use one for bronzer today and I was like I swear to God like there's not even bronzer being applied right now. So, maybe it's just the bronzer, I don't know. I don't know, I wanna be better at it and like really have like a full glam sort of look. So, we'll see. I honestly think this outfit is gonna be like perfect. Like I think that, I think it's fine, you know? Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, I'm getting a pumpkin cream cold brew after I said I'm gonna stop drinking as much coffee. This like doesn't count. Hi. Thank you. Can I get a straw, please? Thank you. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. This doesn't look like the right pumpkin cream cold brew. Like, you know when the color is just off? It's not right. It's not right at all. went great it was really fun um and i just came home to a couple packages it's a really gloomy day and it just feels nice out like it's not hot i know i've said that a billion times but it's in, like a really good mood but i came home to a package from set active which is my favorite package or pr to get i don't know what are these oh sport body oh my god okay so sport body is my favorite i got these green leggings I got all matching sets, obviously. Oh wait, those are not matching. Okay, so this is the matching sports bra. I got this sports bra on a large. I normally wear a medium, but this actual specific fit for some reason is a little bit tighter on me. Then I have these shorts, this top, 
Um, and then I have another set. I'm back to needing like leggings again, not biker shorts. So that's exciting. Um, I'm just thinking of my like Katy trail walks in the morning this fall, really looking forward to them. So these leggings, love those. And then I have this top, which is just so cute. These are good for little morning walks, whatever. I love set active. I also really like set active like sleep. They're um, pajamas. So this is from, oh, these are my new pajamas. Hell yeah. Okay. So these are Everjay. I love Everjay. I'm like literally about to put these on right this very second. Oh my God. They are the best pajamas. Like I love the Skims ribbed and then I love Everjay. I would say Everjay might be number one, but Skims ribbed is like so close to that. I don't know. Oh, I don't love this color combo. It's brown and blue. I mean, I'm still gonna wear them. I just could have sworn I picked a different color when I ordered these. They're just so comfortable though. Like you've never had something in your life softer. So I love them. I have two other pairs and I just needed more. Um, I wear a size medium. They are the best pajamas ever. I just don't know how I feel with the brown and the blue. Just don't feel like that's me. The brown is me obviously, but the blue, not so much, whatever. They're pajamas, so who cares? They are just the most comfortable pajamas you will literally ever wear. Guys, it's pouring out of nowhere. Well, by out of nowhere, I mean I fully saw this coming. I went to Pilates this morning. Coco's at her appointment. I think I'm gonna go get Smoothie King. It just feels so weird to get a smoothie when it's raining out, but I just like cannot be bothered to go anywhere else. I'm actually wearing like a cute little outfit, this and a skirt and some cowboy boots, the friend of mine hat that is coming out soon. Okay, I'm still getting a smoothie, you know, whatever. Last night, I was on the phone with friends for like six hours and it was so fun. Honestly, it just like makes me feel like I'm in high school again in the best way possible. I've been trying to do things like not take myself seriously or like, what is happening? I've been trying to like relax a little bit and like, I don't know, sometimes I get so routine and so structured that I don't like live my life. You know, when you're in bed reading your Kindle at 8 p.m., it doesn't live, doesn't leave much life to live, you know? So for me, that's spontaneous. And I've been a little bit more spontaneous probably the past like two months. And it's been fun. I'm glad that I'm like doing other things, you know? I have like 17 lip products in my bag right now. Wow. It's great. Okay. All right, guys, I'm now on my way to get lunch with Claire. I'm forcing myself to leave my house more throughout the day because sometimes I will just like work from home and then you can like always do more and then I just get into like an anxious spiral. So I'm making myself go on lunch dates and also I've been meaning to like we've been meaning to do something together for so long. So um, we're going to Hudson House on Lovers and then after I have a lymphatic drainage massage. And I typically hate having things booked throughout the day because I just like feel guilty. But um, I've been wanting, I've been needing to go into doing this for so long, but I just felt so puffy lately. Like my body just like doesn't feel well. And lymphatic massages are not the most comfortable thing ever. Let me tell you when I go into the talks on lovers um, and I really like them, they're not relaxing by any means. Like they are painful sometimes, but you leave and you feel so much lighter. Like everything bad is out of your body. It's a really magical experience. Okay guys, I'm back from my massage. A lot of the time a lymphatic massage is so painful. My first one of the talks was not bad, it was fine. Second one, so painful. This one, not painful and actually might add a little bit relaxing, which is not the goal of a lymphatic massage, I would say. They can be a little bit painful. But anyways, I got a package from Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman by far has my favorite shoes. There's so many like kitten heels and stuff that I want from them this fall. Like I literally wear them like they're the only shoes that I wear. I'm not kidding besides Uggs. Um, but I got these brown little ballet flats that I just think are so cute. And they sent me these two, which I actually already have them. Um, but they're navy, so that's kind of sick. With this little like puff on them. Cute with like jeans and a sweater or even like with all black. I love navy and black together. So very exciting, I'll link them. And then I'll also link a couple other ones that I like. Like they just have the best kitten heels. And I'm such a kitten heel girl. 
like cowboy boots or kitten heels always. So very exciting. Um, my wallpaper is getting installed tonight, so all of that will be done. It's gonna take hours, but he's almost here. Um, and then hopefully he's gonna be hanging with my cork boards and my mirror as well. So the office room is gonna be done today, which is very exciting. I'm getting a blowout in the morning and my hair is just so gross, but like hair health, you know, hair health. It's Thursday night. I've been just hanging out in my house and the office room is finally done. The rest of the wallpaper was installed. It is so cozy. And then um, the mirror was hung, and then so are my cork boards. It just feels so good in this room. So cozy, I'm obsessed with the wallpaper. I actually need to bring these curtains down a little bit, so let me, okay. We're bringing those down, I don't know if I wanna do it. I don't know, just a little bit, maybe not. Wait, no. Okay, okay. I feel like that adds a little something, but the room is just so cozy. So this is a trundle bed. I have the sheets on the top one done. I need to add a box spring, and then I need to add sheets to the bottom, another mattress pad, things like that. But it's just so perfect. I'm so excited. I'm gonna spend so much time in here. I'm gonna keep that as like my little linen closet because it's already actually... Um, like pretty organized, just like extra blankets and sheets and things like that. Over here, it's really, it's not crazy unorganized, I just have things shoved in there, that's why the door's opening. Um, I just need to go through stuff and clean it out and then I'm gonna make that like my office closet. But yeah, I love it all so much. I will link everything in this room below. I did last week as well, but it looks so good. Good morning, happy Friday. Today is a big day, it's gonna be a good day. I'm going to Drake tonight, I'm taking Marissa. Wingstop is taking us, which is like amazing. I love Wingstop, like their fries, oh my God, I grew up eating Wingstop all the time. Um, I have a blowout this morning after my workout. I am recording a podcast episode. I have a Vegas event, because they have a pop-up at West Village. Um, it's gonna be a really good day. I'm just in a really good mood, I woke up just in a just happy you know so I'm listening to the Drake set list and I love Drake like I've always loved Drake obviously but I just feel like I was like wait what if I don't know his like most recent stuff because really honestly all I listen to is country and I'm going down the playlist and I know every single song or the set list so that's good um but I feel like he's had like new albums in the past couple like two years and I feel like I haven't like listened to that much but I guess you know them anyways you know um, but it's just so wild too. This is like so obvious and dumb, but it's so wild how like music takes you back to different places because I remember like exactly, especially living back now in Texas where I grew up, like it takes me back to such like vivid memories of exactly where I was when the song was playing. Um, and then I realized that I'm 26 now. So four years away from 30. I'm actually excited for my 30s, but that's kind of scary. All right, y'all, I'm rushing home. I got a blowout and it took two hours. Like, I don't know why. It was just a very slow blowout. She did a great job, but I have so much to do. So heading home, um, I need to be recording in the next hour and get ready, eat, um, and do all my new setup, which I kind of set up last night, so I think it's gonna be fine. I'm back home. I showered and changed so fast. I have my burrito, the Sunrise Burrito from Chop Shop. I'm playing Chris Stapleton. I'm gonna prep. In a second, we're about to record the first podcast episode of the new name. So the podcast rebrand, I need to get ready, obviously still, but it's like the first official house guest episode, which is like a fully fall episode, which I'm really excited for. Wish the lighting in this closet was better because I would film TikToks in here all the time. It's just not like amazing. So gotta figure that out, but I'm wearing this and then I have my Sam Edelman belly flats and I'm gonna change into my Chanel bag. Um, just for like my really easy chill afternoon of errands. I'm gonna get my sister a pair of Tacovas um, and we're going to the base event because there is a pop-up in or at West Village, which will be fun. I put my earrings in here earlier. Um, 
it just really actually feels like fall and I know like it's probably not gonna like stay cool or as cool as, as it is right now but it just feels amazing right now we're about to start recording I moved all this over to make this work um, I really need, like, this lens is nice, but it's really zoomed in. I don't know. I honestly hate setting this stuff up myself, and also I just feel like I don't do the best job at it. I need to hire someone, but it's also just, like, a really flexible sky. It's just, it's really difficult to do. So, anyways, so cozy. My coffee is ready to go. Also, this is where I'm going to have my garden back here. Um, I'm getting so excited for YouTube again because, I mean, I'm always excited for YouTube, but, like, my fall vlogs, you know, because of fall. Um, but my vlogs in the fall are just so much better and we'll be starting a new backyard uh, project. We'll be doing all the like, cooking so much stuff. I'll just be happier to be cozy. I'll be wearing better outfits or the whole thing. It's just better, you know? So anyways, I love this wallpaper so much. Like I just, oh my God, I love this house. So this is what the behind the scenes is. Not to be dramatic, but that might be my favorite solo podcast episode I've ever recorded. I feel like I was just, like, sometimes when you're not in, like, a specific mood when you're recording and, like, talking to yourself for an hour, it just is, like, I don't know. You have to, like, be on, and I was on today. Thank God. So, oh, also I decided mid-recording that Macy and I, after the J episode, we're going to do an episode where we're going to be calling in all the other girls who have been victimized by a J name, and they're going to be sharing their experiences. So... It's gonna be good. Maddie just arrived. They've been dancing. Oh, Wee. he must smell Kobe or something. That's such a dog person, dog parent thing to say. Fitz, don't bite her. Actually, keep it up. Oh, oh we're dancing. We're dancing. You, we're your dancing. shirt is torn. I know. It's good for spray tans. It's like really airy. Yeah, hey. getting that vibe. Stop. Maddie, we're vlogging. Oh, who are you calling? Hey, never mind. I figured it out. Okay, bye. Are you excited? I know I own a salon now, so I have to answer my colleagues. Email. You're just booked and busy. You're a business woman. I am, and I took today off because what like, <laughs> whoa, fuck. You only work like three days a week. No, I work five now. Oh, I'm not fucking busy. Oh, that's huge. Not really. I mean, I used to work five. And I was five like, is like a why would I do that? You know, yeah. when you don't have to. And then I would say like when you're 23, it's yeah. important to work. It just <laughs> oh. I, I know about life all too well. Actually, we have to talk about that. I figured something out the other night. Anyway, I'm literally vlogging. Like, now is not the time. Anyways. You cut this part out. So you think that my house is cute? Like, I don't have you have any makeup on because I just got a spray tan and I got a facial so my face looks crazy. I'm getting a facial. And I curled my hair and I literally pinned it up and it doesn't hold. I'm like. Yeah, my hair like fell a ton from. I'm over hair. it. But it's because of the weather, I think, right now. Do you guys think we look like? Well, let me get makeup on. I don't have, I only have a. My makeup by Mario Powder. Yeah, I don't have shit on. We don't, we look alike if I, cause Maddie is really good at makeup, but she like does like a full beat and I like never do that. So we look alike when we do our makeup the same way or if we're not really wearing makeup, we look more alike, I think. Yeah. I mean, I guess my hair looks good. It needs a little bit more of a curl. Yeah, your hair does look good. So today's the day that I'm finally going to buy Maddie a pair of Tacovas, even though yes. I already told you that, I thought. I just didn't believe it. I just had to. It's just crazy. I said it in the podcast. I was like, she's bragged me. Then I was like, actually. I take that back because a bribe would mean I got something out of it. There's nothing that I get out of this. You get content of you buying like this can no be one like, cares. This is, no, this no, is not a single person watching. This, this is cares. the sign to buy your little sister a pair. <laughs> wow, that's just what the world needed. That's just yeah. what the world needed. You know, I'm just starting a trend for y'all, you little sisters. You're welcome. I also I have something coming really soon. I have your recipe journal yeah. here too. Yeah, there's there's a lot you have for me. You just don't know. Oh. I don't think I do have a for you. But we're gonna go to Jacoba's. Do you wanna go I'm um, assuming the auto Knox? Yeah. I don't understand what I mean. You have do you have texture spray? Okay, good, because I'm out of everything. Yeah. Do you have any like energy drinks or anything? Um I normally get them to Jess. Holy fuck. No, I'm afraid it's still cramped right now. Our fridge isn't even this full. Yeah, well, my brain always gets so full. My hair just like had fell so bad. Do you need that sand Thank sand God your hair, because you can fix it. Maddie's also going to drink tonight. We figured out, but on her own. I'm so excited. I We're was listening to the set list. The the car. That closet for your wife. That hook for your wife. I'm sort of getting. Um. Okay, so we're going to Jacoba's. I don't know how I tucked her into doing this, but 
you've just been really annoying about it for a while and i'm just in a good mood today honestly you caught me on a good day i know i was telling kayla earlier um from the swath i was like i just can't piss her off before yeah like whatever she says goes yeah i should have done this at the end of the day no I should have had the whole I'm really day. Glad that we're getting this no, I should have had the whole day. Yeah, that's a good idea. No, 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 we're here. We're here. No, that's a genius idea. It's 85 and I'm wearing a sweater. Made it to Tacova's. Maddie's trying the Annie in bone. Oh my god, it's sibling day. It's sibling day. We just went to the base pop-up. So cute, it's in West Village. We got some stuff. Maddie is living a day in the life of me. Not actually, but you're benefiting today from me. Yeah, that's what I tend to do. Yeah, so we're gonna head home, bye. Does anyone's sibling come to their house and just trash it? Like, you should see my office right now. I'm excited for it to be cleaned up like you promised. Yeah, well, Bay's gonna be here in about 10 minutes, so let's see, I hope. I'm cooking up ambition on the kitchen stove. to my friends because they're like we know you like them like six months before you say right, it right 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 but i'm like i'm like also like kind of lying to myself if no, i'm being honest course. because i'm so waiting to be like okay this is safe mm -hmm. is really what i'm doing but mm -hmm. i'm like i have to like wrap my head around and i have to like see like is this even a relationship yeah I, I'm, and then also the like weighing it against where you are so it's like i'm actually really good like do i like this person more than what yes. i'm doing right now you know and it's like and the answer that's almost always going to be no on some level do you know what i mean like I, is it better and easier to be in a relationship than, you know, being by yourself? Not really, you know, because like being by yourself is kind of like an easy, selfish thing, right? I don't have to consider other people's feelings. Mm -hmm. I can come and go when I want to go. I like, control everything. I can control yeah. everything. Like there's no surprises, you know, like that. But 